In this video clip, I'm going to explain to you the role of monetary policy. A monetary policy is applied by the Reserve Bank and the objective, the main objective of monetary policy is to protect the value of our domestic currency. In other words, the RAND. Now, how will it be protected? By keeping the inflation rate at a low stable level. And currently, the target inflation rate is between 3 and 6%. So the objective of monetary policy is to keep the inflation rate low and stable between 3 and 6%. So I'm going to give you an overview of how the Reserve Bank applies monetary policy in order to reach that objective. And we're going to do the whole story about monetary policy in more detail in this chapter. Right, so what I have here is I've drawn the diagram which shows how banks create money. And we've explained that banks have to hold a certain percentage of their total deposits in the form of cash reserves. Right, you will remember that. Now, if banks don't have enough cash reserves available, they don't have enough available so that they can hold that percentage that they have to hold. We say that they are experiencing a liquidity deficit. And if a bank is experiencing a liquidity deficit, it can go to the Reserve Bank, South African Reserve Bank, and it can borrow money from the Reserve Bank to obtain the necessary cash reserves. And the interest rate that they are going to pay for that is called the repo rate or the repurchase rate. Right. This repo rate is going to influence the interest rate at which banks will be willing to provide loans to their clients. And therefore, it will be able to influence the amount of money available in the economy and total expenditure and eventually the price level. We will look at that in more detail now. Right, so banks lend cash or provide cash to the banks at the repo rate and that determines the level of interest rates that banks are willing to give loans at. You can see that the Reserve Bank would actually like the banks to borrow from it because if it does not do that, it will not have any influence over the level of interest rates in the economy. So therefore the Reserve Bank likes to keep the banks having a liquidity deficit and they can use open market operations in order to influence the size of the liquidity deficit. Now what open market operations will involve is that the Reserve Bank will buy Sorry, the Reserve Bank will sell securities or financial assets to the banks. That will mean that some, because the banks have to pay for those securities, it will mean that some of the cash that they have available will go to the Reserve Bank. And in that way, the liquidity deficit of the banks will increase. So the Reserve Bank sells securities to the banks, cash flows to the Reserve Bank out of the economy, and therefore the banks will experience a larger liquidity deficit, which will then again be financed by the Reserve Bank at the repo rate. So open market operations 
as well as this lending by the Reserve Bank at the repo rate. That all forms part of monetary policy. So how is that going to influence the inflation rate? Let's say that currently the inflation rate is too high. So prices are increasing at a too fast level. What can the Reserve Bank do? It will increase the repo rate. That increase in the repo rate will lead to an increase in the interest rate at which banks will be willing to give out loans. So interest rates in the economy are going to increase. That will mean that less demand for loans. There will be a decrease in the amount of money that is created because less money is created, less money is available in the economy. Therefore, aggregate demand in the economy will come down because there will be fewer investment projects and also less consumption in the economy. So both of those will come down and therefore it will be more difficult for producers and sellers to put up prices and therefore the inflation rate will come down. So that is the only mechanism that the Reserve Bank has available to bring down the inflation rate. They do it via the repo rate when they lend money to the banks to finance the liquidity deficit. And that is why they also use open market operations to create a liquidity deficit. So if we can put it on this scheme, the Reserve Bank creates a liquidity deficit using open market operations. And of course, also by the cash reserve requirement. The higher the cash reserve requirement, the more cash banks need and therefore the larger li the liquidity deficit will be. So those two factors will affect the liquidity deficit of the banks. The Reserve Bank will then provide refinancing at the repo rate to finance this liquidity deficit. That will affect banks' lending rates. And that will then affect the real sector. It will affect aggregate demand because it will affect consumption as well as investment. Right. So these two blocks, the creation of the liquidity deficit and the refinancing at the repo rate, that is monetary policy. And this part, how monetary policy affects the real sector, because this will represent the real sector. How monetary policy affects the real sector, we call this the transmission mechanism. The mechanism through which a change in monetary policy is transferred to the real sector so that prices can be affected. So this explains to you 
the role that monetary policy plays in the economy.